This is a quick demonstration of voice command version 2.0. So after, I guess it's been a couple weeks, I've talked to a lot of people and uh, added some new features that I think a lot of people wanted. So first of all, I made some features to the config file. So I'm gonna open it with the dash C flag here. So if you look, the help command before the config file is different here. It tells you uh, about the new options and I'm basically gonna go through those in my config file. So if you look, I've got this uh, a, a bunch of these that start with a uh, an exclamation point. And basically, so there's three different types of things you can have in your config file. You can have your normal commands, which is the same as it was last time, except with these ones, it's um, a double equals sign. And I did that because some things like HTML pages occasionally have an equal sign in them, and I wanted people to be able to do that, so I'm using double equals now. So you have voice, equal, double equals, and then command. So you can see some of these that they do that. Uh, I also added uh, commenting. So if you, it's bash style commenting. So you, you put a number sign in front of it, and it's a comment, and the uh, command ignores it. And now um, I also have some special options in here. So for special options, there's only a limited number of them. I, I believe there's seven. And they start with an exclamation point. So you have verify. Verify will verify the keyword. Keyword, you can set the keyword, so right now it's pi. Thresh, you can set the volume threshold. Continuous, uh, tell it to go continuously or not. Response, you can set the response. Quiet, you can tell it to be quiet or not. So if it quiets on it, it's not going to speak. And ignore, you can tell it to ignore or not. And if it ignores on, so it's one, zero. All these are, all the ones that are one or zero are binary values, like Booleans. And so if you tell it to ignore, it's going to um, not answer the question. So basically the way it works now is it goes through the config file tries to see if your speech matches one of the uh, options. If it does, it runs that command. If not, it tries to find an answer for that and assumes it's a, qu a question. So this turns that feature off if you set it to one. Um, thresholds, the volume threshold, this works for me pretty well, the 0.7, so it's the default value. I have a Logitech C310 and I'm about six feet away and it works really well. Keyword is the word I say at the beginning. Um, Keyword only matters if verify is set to one. So verify is a new thing, and a, a bunch of people wanted that. The original method, it just looked for the audio value above the threshold, that 0 0.7, and then, you know, re responded, and uh, it said ready originally. Now it says yes, sir. But it responded, and then it listened for your command, then ran your command. Well, the new one has this ver verify flag you can turn on. And if you have the verify flag on, it listens for a volume above that 0 0.7, and then when it gets that, it uh, tests that value to make sure that it's the keyword you said. That way you're not always pinging out this voice command. You're not, you know, doing voice recognition on every single second of, of audio. It's only if the audio value is above a certain threshold. And then if it is, it verifies the keyword, and that runs the keyword. So you can turn this on or off with the flags in here. And I have it on right now. It's pretty decent. There's occasionally times where it doesn't quite catch what I'm saying um, when, I, when I say pi, which is kind of frustrating. Uh, but it gets it pretty often, so that's kind of nice. Uh, so I can exit out of here. So those are the main files in the config thing, or in, in the config options. And I've also um, set up a, a man script. So if you do man voice command here, it'll tell you, here's the man page for it. And so there's some man options, a question mark and H displays the man page, dash C is continuous mode. So you can set these in the config file, but if you don't want to, you can just use these, um, the flags. So dash C is the edit. This one's new, it's dash F. This lets you open based off, uh, open a different config file than the, the normal config file. That way you can have multiple config files if you want. Uh, one or two people asked me about this, so I, I threw it in there. Dash H, again, shows the main page. Dash I is the ignore mode, just like the other one. Dash K is the keyword. Dash R is the response, so what it says back to you. Dash T is the threshold volume, it's a floating point number. Dash Q is quiet mode, and dash V is the verify mode. So if you set verify, it's going to set continuous already. And if you set keyword, it should set verify and continuous, because that's the only time it matters. And I've got my email and some other stuff, information on here in case you have questions. So I'll show you some of the new options. 
I've got the continuous, the verify, and the um, keyword options set at Pi right now. So here it's going, and it tells you it's running in continuous mode, and it's, it's verifying the command as well. So right now it's probably hearing the audio above 0 0.7, but it's not it's not uh, seeing that I'm saying the command word, so it's just kind of sitting there. So we'll try a, a command. Pi. Pi. Yeah, it didn't like me. Pi. How are you? Well, I am doing well. Thank you. Pie. Oh, yes, sir. YouTube under pressure. So you notice also I changed the text to speech now. It's a lot nicer. Um, I moved from eSpeak to uh, the Google text to speech, and I like it a lot better. So those are kind of the new options I've got there. And you notice I had a little fluke there. It didn't like the word pie. But Verify it does that sometimes. Um, I'm still trying to figure out a better way to do it. It works most of the time. But Occasionally it frustrates me. Um, and you can always change the keyword. Maybe it's the keyword. Maybe there's a better one to use. So that's something that you can uh, explore. And uh, I've done a couple other things too. I've also made... Uh, I'm going to press escape to get out of this. I've made an update script. So if you go into where you have the the files. So I've got right here. I'm going to go into the ins install folder. So you had install a UI suite, not install a UI suite. So I've got a new one called update, and you can get this on, on the GitHub. So what it's going to do is, if I, I, you have to run this one with sudo, unlike the install and uninstall, which you don't have to do. This one has to be root permissions. So if I run this, it's going to go get the newest binaries for me and put them in the user bin folder without, uh, without having to go through all the extra setup in the install folder. You know, you have to type in all that information and all that. You don't have to do that if you hit this. It takes a little bit. It takes like a minute or two because it's got to go through and, you know, do all the SSL certs and get on the GitHub and ask for the files and transfer them. So that's what it's doing right now. And it's basically going to go through and it's going to find every one you have. And if you have it, it's going to install the new files. And if you don't, it's going to ignore it. So it knows I have Play Video. It's going to install Play Video and the man script for Play Video. And it's going to do that for every single part of the AUI suite. So when you installed it, if you were, were in England or something like that, you obviously wouldn't install gtext command since it uses Google Voice. Um, so you skip that. Well, it's not going to get those files, uh, and it's not going to put them on your Raspberry Pi, which is or your computer, where, wherever it's on, uh, which is kind of nice. It's because it's it's got a checking beforehand. So this is pretty nice. Uh, I find it kind of useful, and a couple people ask me for it because I've been pushing out updates. Uh, the past couple of days, and uh, just based off off what people wanted. So this is another one of the new features. And I believe that's all of them. So the main features, the new config file changes, the new flags, the man page, the new text-to-speech, that sounds a lot better in my opinion, uh, the new update script, and uh, yep, that's all. That's all of them. So let me know any new features you would like, or uh, any any other problems you have installing, and, and I'll try to help out. Thanks.